tell them those trees in the back are interfering with our cable. (laughs) Come cut them down, DTE. I don't think they'd have... We'd have much success with that. I know. It's just the petty things that people complain about. People are petty. I'm actually constipated today. I know. Every day in my life I have diarrhea and now I just feel like I'm crowning all the time. Which is an uncomfortable feeling. I still haven't taken a shower. What day did I come here? What day, Rick? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday? Tomorrow's gonna be a week without a shower. Yeah. I forgot my hair stuff. My oil and my spray. They're probably right on my dresser. <coughs> oh, Mike. Going by the Detroit jail. I was thinking about dropping Rick off. No. Don't put him there. He's been farting this morning. He needs to go to jail. No. You don't go to jail for farting. He should. They're bad. Are they criminal? They're terrible. Burned my nose. That would be some punishment for the prisoners. Just have them go fart and run out. Yeah. We can't run out of jail. Oh. Don't say that anyway. Jail is serious. Serious business. It's a good thing you brought me those cigarettes. Yeah. So sure are you they on their it. are they on their way? What time is it? 159. Yeah, they're on their way. Were they already out of the, the hospital? I'm not sure yet. I haven't talked to Debbie today. I just texted with her. She had a Zoom meeting and she was in Dearborn. I love this island. In Detroit, cop pulls somebody over, they just stop in the road block off the traffic. Middle of the road? Yeah. Well, in Detroit, maybe they think you're trying to run from them. True. They got the whole road closed off here because this guy's pulled over. Chair 696 is closed. Overturned. Some jack guide semi. No, I didn't hear that. Jackknife. Jack eye? Jackknife? Jackknife. Jackknife. Keep all knives away from me. That's dangerous. That's right. I'm not sure. What's the job we're doing at the end of the day, Rick? Ring neck. Ring neck. Wing neck? Wing neck? Ring neck. And tomorrow we punch out at Warner before we do road trip. Right. Hope the cats aren't killing each other. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. I hope so. I left my bedroom door open, so Puddin's probably laying on my bed. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I can do this. Okay. Alrighty. 
I'll talk to you later. All right, dear. All right, Mike. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. This isn't even on the uh, show sheet, black, but I was listening to the black the truck. Jamal Lewis says he does not like weekend. change, and he wants yeah. to come back here. The black truck. And I'm really wondering, how how valuable is he to this team? I know he scored a bunch of touchdowns. I know he did. But are you bringing the bank for this guy? Because he's going to want more than just a one-year deal. Because I know people are going to call, just put him on a one-year deal. It doesn't work that way. He wants he's, security. He wants a couple years. He's going to want security, and he's going to want some money. And I'm sorry, when it comes to NFL running backs, the shelf life is not that great. I I got a cap, I got a limit that I'm not paying him. If, if he's coming in asking for, you know, at least $10 million a year, I can't do that at all. I just can't. There's no way in the world I would pay him that much money. So if he comes correct for, to be honest with you, your ring's probably maybe getting a called. Three-year, twenty million dollar deal. I know it ain't my money, but running backs. Thinking about I using think the prop house, I don't have I to think use you can the go into the draft. Maybe bottom. this is where for everybody out there saying, "Hey, have you seen B. John Robinson?" Maybe you go get a younger back. But I'm really still going to shake. Williams. I gotta no. I know he's a leader. That's what I was going to ask you. Do how much do you value? locker room camaraderie and leadership because that's i think where his value is but uh, not 10 million a year i agree with that it's not it's i i i cannot see i think that would be a poor decision if brad holmes paid him that much money to stay here this is one where jamal and his agent has to know their worth you could ask for it but i'm not giving it to you i don't see it i don't know is he one of the best running backs in football? He had a good year this year. He scored a lot of touchdowns. But it's also a contract year. So a lot right. of players have great years in contract years. Right. And he, like I said, he scored a lot of touchdowns. But to me, those he was a great fantasy football player. But I didn't see him as being that guy. Like, oh, my God. I, I, I don't think Saquon Barkley. I didn't think Derrick Henry and Jamal Williams. Okay? No can't do that. Well, let me give you this because I'm just looking at some numbers. Joe Mixon's that's at a, 12. Aaron Jones that's at 12. That's a truck that says Yoshi. Under that would be yeah. 7 like million the dinosaur. running backs. Of course, Saquon yeah. Barkley's about to get the money, but you got James Conner at 7, Leonard Fournette at 7. Okay, that, okay about fine. Eight, so, eight yeah. half. so three years, 21 million. Yeah. There you go. You get the, I, That's the highest that I would go for him. I'm not paying him $10 million, yep. and I'm not signing him yeah. for longer than three years if he wants to come back. Just and if like you really the dinosaur, about it, I'm going to sign you to a dinosaur. three year deal, but I got can, the Lions have control over year number three because, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you're a great leader in the locker room, but when running backs go bad, running backs go bad fast. You don't believe me? Just keep watching. There's a reason why, you know. Dallas has got a big decision to make with Tony Pollard. He's a better running back, not Zeke Elliott. Zeke's washed up. Zeke is done. And if anything that Zeke had left in him got taken out of him in the final play of the 49er game when they lined him up at center. That lets you know what they actually thought of Zeke Elliott. Oh, no, where's my offensive lineman? Oh, no, they're about 50 feet to the left of you, Zeke. Wait, so it's just me? Just you. So I gotta I block know, it. Tomorrow yep. when we after Any we questions? punch out at Warner, yeah. they'll probably have your turn signal like, on really, going Z, right on Z, commerce don't snap that with ball. their ring. Ooh, break you in half if you do. But I got to see, don't snap the ball. Yeah, Tony Pollard to me more valuable. I look at Jamal. I I just I don't see a guy that I would pay that much money. And like I said, we, David and I hadn't talked about this. I just heard it in the update. Two four eight five three nine nine seven nine seven. Are you re-signing Jamal Williams? I'm not. I think that you can go get a younger running back. I think that there are a bunch of running backs in the draft that you can bring in that can be just as productive as Jamal. 
And I know if you're just talking about leadership, that's a lot of money to pay for just leadership. I don't know if I'm going that route, but the cap, I would go three year, I would pay $7 million a year. That's the going rate for a guy in, in, in Jamal's bracket. He's he's not Derrick Henry. He's not a game changer. He's, you know, when, and when I say game changer, I mean when teams line up, when the defenses are trying to figure out where this person is, that's when you're a game changer. When you play Minnesota, you got to always know where Justin Jefferson is at all times. When you play the Titans, all right, Derrick Henry, that's the main focus. We got to stop him. I don't know if the focus is you got to stop Jamal. You still got Swift here. Who? He, let's face it, Swift was the starting back. Jamal took over. He took advantage of a great opportunity. In the contract year, I would caution Brad Holmes. I would caution Lions fans. Do not overpay for a running back because you can get running backs. I would find somebody else if that was me. My thing is, and I, I don't know if Lions fans are worried about this at all, but we saw what uh, Brad Holmes did last offseason. He has a tendency to want to keep his own players. So does, I wonder if that worries Lions fans that, okay, Jamal Williams had a really good year, and since Brad Holmes wants to keep his players, will he overpay to keep Jamal Williams because of what he brings to the locker room? Because I would be concerned as a fan. Because I don't, you're right, you don't need to overpay for him. If you want to keep him, fine. But if it gets ridiculous, then he, of course he's going to ask for money. He needs his money. I mean, he has to have security. He wants to be paid. Um, but I just, I wouldn't want to overpay. And Lions fans, I wonder if you're worried about that. Is that, to me, that, that that's what I'm looking at, that you may end up overpaying. And I, I just think that there were a bunch of running backs out there that you can get, especially in this in this draft class coming out, that you could get second, third, fourth round backs. <laughs> look, look, I mean, look at the backs going to the Super Bowl. You don't need that first rounder. You can get a great running back in lesser rounds because they are very expendable. 248-539-9797 is the phone number. Uh, we got any ticket text, David? Two years, ten million for Jamal. Someone okay, says. that's 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 that that's Frutios right there. Okay, <laughs> now now you're getting Jamil Williams, not even Jamal. This Jamal Williams hasn't even hit 1,000 carry carries, which is the middle ground for running back statistically. He had over 1,000 yards, 17 touchdowns, and he will sign a cap-friendly deal to stay. If he signs a cap-friendly deal, okay, then fine. I, I, I just, I, I cannot, I cannot break the bank if, if that's me. Someone says, uh, Rico, this is Detroit. I'm sorry, but I feel like we have to pay for guys that actively want to be here. We need that locker room camaraderie in Detroit. Okay, and I'm glad somebody said that. Because once again, do you want to be a Detroit team or do you want to be a championship team? A Detroit team is, well, we got to keep this guy because he wants to be here. Now, I was told that this is now the hot team. Everybody likes him, and you're going to be able to attract free agents. You're going to be able to attract people. If that's the case, you don't have to settle for him. If he gives you a cap-friendly deal and not two years at $10 million, okay, he ain't playing for $5 million a year for two years. At that point, if I'm him, I'm going back on the open market. But, yeah, I would go three years 21 million, maybe 22 million, but I, I'm not getting out of that $7 million range. I may give him a $7 million and some change, but man, I, I, that's to me, I can't. I can't do it. I, I saw he, he was good. He was not great. And I think, put it this way, the running back that I like, I'm looking at like this draft class coming out. The running back that I would like, he's 17 or 16 in the draft class, which means he'll probably See, be Tuesday. there. And yeah, I think that this is Tuesday. a guy that can easily step in of. there yep. and get the same production. Running backs are expensive. Value is so that if you think you can get that guy that can do the same, get that. I mean, I know you guys made fun of me. If not, if you can get that guy, okay. But even before the Niners got Christian McCaffrey, man, it was just running back by committee. 
they just stick people back there. Okay. Raheem Moster, uh, Wilson. Right. Anyone you can name. Ellie, like, okay, well, he's in now. He's playing this week. He, oh, he's hurt. Okay, find him. Find me. What's the janitor doing? You can get this done without overpaying. I think the money that you have should be going towards your defense, not a running back. And let me ask you this one, because this came through on the ticket text. Now, you just said if you can get that guy. Someone says, forget Jamal, give me Saquon, and go all the way in or top-tier running back behind this O-line. Hmm. If you go get Saquon, you're going to have to pay a lot of money. Saquon, think of it like this. You're pretty much looking at a McCaffrey-type deal. Where the Giants, and I'm trying to think, is Saquon a free agent? He is technically a free agent. So we'll see if okay, they so franchise to, him, but right. we'll, that'll come later. So if they franchise him, you still got to come off picks. You would if they decide to, yeah, do that and you can trade, yeah. So I'm thinking if that's the case, then, yeah, I would do that. And yeah, He's going to come at a hefty price. You get Saquon, you better be ready to win the Super Bowl. But here's the thing. The tag numbers just came out of what they would be for this year. Running back tag is just $10 million. So he would get the $10 million. That's guaranteed, but that's just one year. Right. So uh, if you trade for him, a guy that's on a tag, you have to come with a deal now. And you're not just keeping him on the $10 million tag. No, no, no. But if you trade for him, you're going to be trading some first-rounders. Correct. They're going to want something. You're going to give up a pick, and then you're going to have to give you, him an you, extension. You're probably going to – oh, yeah, yeah, trust me. He's going to want some serious cheddar. He's going to want that money. You, you – <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I mean, in Root for Radio, it would be funny because you could watch Mike's head explode because you know he'd be upset. You don't pay. But, I mean, Saquon is he's, – he's one of those game changers where, yeah, I've seen him take over games before. I like that. I'm not adverse to it. But just know, you're going for broke. You go for Saquon, that's it. Which is why, honestly – I'd rather get it back out of the draft. It would cost you less, less wear and tear on the tires, and you could still get the job done. Just my opinion. 248-539-9797. I left my sheet out there. Do I have a read coming up? Okay, good. Um, 248-539-9797. We will get your ticket text. Everybody on the line, we'll get to you next. 97.1. Serta, America's most recognized name brand of mattress, American-made, Michigan-made, and always the highest quality. Check out the entire lineup of mattresses at over 150 retailers in the metro area alone. And for a limited time, save up to $1,000 during the Serta iComfort closeout event. Go to Serta.com, find a retailer near you, buy today, you get delivery within a week, no waiting around, no nonsense. Get some rest, get a Serta. Planet Fitness, home of the Judgment Free Zone, is the official fitness partner of 97.1 The Ticket. Dr. Trudy Fleer here with the 5G Home Recovery Podcast. Let's talk about mobile users getting priority over T-Mobile home internet users, shall we? You don't know them. Why should they take your internet? I get it. We're raised to share, but always coming in second, paying to be taken advantage of? No, thank you. With Xfinity, there's only one priority, and that is Y-O-U. So come on, people. Say yes to Xfinity. Learn more at Xfinity.com slash facts. Now through February 21st, new customers can get 75 megabits per second connect internet. It's all just $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year rate guarantee. Plus, there is no annual contract, so it's risk-free. Go to Xfinity.com slash TMOFAX, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular internet rate supply. Actual speeds vary. This holiday, whether you're making a Kroger Simple Truth Turkey for 40 or a Murray's Baked Brie for 2 Kroger has fast, fresh delivery and free pickup, so you can make holiday meals that bring you all together to create memories that last. Kroger, fresh for everyone. 
free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. Get more ways to save at the buy five or more, save $1 each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with card. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Listen all season long to 97 won the ticket for your chance to win tickets to see the Detroit Red Wings at Little Caesars Arena. For more info and to purchase tickets, go to DetroitRedWings.com now. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Obsessing over every detail means we're confident in offering a 100% quality guarantee. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try with this special offer. Get a Harry starter set with a five-blade razor, weighted handle, shave gel, and a travel cover. All for just three bucks, plus free shipping. Just go to harrys.com and enter code JOY at checkout. That's harrys.com, code JOY. Enjoy. For the ones finding new ways to ensure the job always gets done. For the ones wearing many hats. For the ones who are hands-on, even from far away. And the ones keeping business moving forward. We are Granger, offering professional-grade industrial supplies, plus real-time product availability and access to experts ready to answer your toughest questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Today, colder, partly cloudy, highs in the upper teens. Weather brought to you by the Specialized Recruiting Group. The Specialized Recruiting Group takes an individual approach, placing people in contract and full-time roles. SRGExpress.com, now placing in accounting roles. Your opinion matters. Call the D Las Vegas 97.1 The Ticket Studio Line at 248-539-97. Code 1655. 1655. Yeah, V8. Still, it's like it's broke down again. <laughs>